first part is a mission mode action to connect uh, research institutions, knowledge institutions, community-based organizations, and uh, uh, people and a community as a whole to sit together and discuss the issues concerning uh, Himalayan ecosystem and how to sustain. This needs to be done uh, through a cap building capacities of both institutions and people and interconnect them. Next uh, uh, 10 years approximately would be to really build the capacities, build institutions, link them and uh, in the organization itself create a learning capacity so that new things that happen will be recognized as well. You see, it is not a project will not help, the scientific understanding will help. So that this is a, a knowledge-based activity which will eventually connect to policies, but more importantly, ground actions. So the scientific knowledge here has to be, can be compartmentalized through project programs and long-term activities. In fact, if it is climate change as an, uh, as an area, you would recognize there's a science and policy interface in a global platform. It's a big, big, big gap. In Himalayan region, uh, this becomes uh, more relevant and pertinent because the ecosystem that you deal with is very fragile. This vulnerability of ecosystem has to be protected necessarily by certain regulatory pathways. That process needs to be based on knowledge, to be based on social behavior. And there is a disconnect at the moment.